So as a new farmer who purchases a farmland, one of the major concerns of a lot of farmers is how do I know my boundary so that other farmers will not, you know, um, come into my line or come into my land. And most of the people use different means of securing or protecting their boundaries. A um, few weeks ago, we helped one of our uh, most cherished customers or clients to buy a new land here in Ayen Suano. And one of the instructions or one of the requests she put before my colleague who I'll be speaking to very soon is about how will she protect her boundary or how will she protect her land so that another farmer who she shares boundaries with will not encroach or any other person will not encroach on her land. So we recommended a few things. We mentioned moringa, we mentioned coconut, we mentioned uh, using bamboo, we mentioned other means of, you know, knowing or identifying her boundary. And so we are back to actually do that process, which is lining and pegging and planting. Um, it's been raining consistently in the area, so we will not be able to do all the planting today. But definitely the next time I come back, I'll make sure I capture everything that has been planted. But I wanted to enlighten those of you who are yet to purchase the land, who are yet to uh, buy a land in Ghana, of how you can secure your land. So uh, we have the seedlings here. We'll briefly talk about the variety, the process you have to go through and do the planting or the lining and pegging. But Ben will be in the right place to talk to me. Hello, Ben. Yeah, hello. Antonio, how are you? Um, I'm good. Thanks for joining us once again on the Ghanaian Farmer Channel. Um, so our very own mother, Auntie Mary, she's gone back to the UK, but she's left the care and protection of her land in our, our care, actually. Now she, she was worried about one thing. I want to secure my boundary so that the next farmer will not encroach or anybody will not encroach. And so we had a few suggestions and we settled on coconut. So first of all, um, let's know what variety of coconut seedlings are these. Okay, this is Malaysian dwarf. Okay, so how much is one sold? 15 cities. 15 cities. So how many pieces will we need to fill the whole six acres for Auntie Mary? Um, around 500. 500 pieces. 500 pieces. All right. So we went to capture where you have them. Because of the road, we are unable to bring it now. But in about a few days later, you will bring it. Yeah. So after I managed to buy my seedlings, um, what next do I do? I heard you mention some technical terms, which is lining and pegging and planting. When we mention lining and pegging, what exactly are we talking about? Okay. Um, in Agric, we have something we call row planting. And it applies to all crops. If you plant in rows... It helps you um, manage your farm very well. And so before you plant your coconuts, you need to do the lining and pegging. That's why we have the sticks that we'll be using to do the lining and pegging. Mm -hmm. And then when you do the um, lining and pegging, mm -hmm. and then you, uh, you follow up with the planting. And then after the planting, then you follow up with the treatment of the coconut seedlings. So okay. that um, there is just um, snails. Mm -hmm. They destroy it very well. So mm -hmm. you need to treat it mm -hmm. in order to maintain it at its young stage mm. to grow very healthy. All right. Um, I had mentioned or I asked, ah, but Ben, the land, we are yet to get tractor to plow the whole place. So we can have a bare land. Um, so if you plant the seedlings in the bush, it will die. And you said you're going to do ring what? Ring weeding. What yeah, we'll do ring weeding and then we'll, pl we'll plant the coconut. It um, gives space around the coconut mm -hmm. so that the weeds doesn't compete with the coconut seedlings. Mm. Okay. So um, now that we have the seedlings here, um, we will now do the ring weeding. No, the lining and pegging. The lining and pegging. Mm -hmm. So what we need to do the lining, when you're coming to do such stuff on your farm, what do you need to actually do it? Okay, you need a tape measure. And then because the tape measure will help you know the distances. Mm. And the planting distance for coconuts is 25. Mm. So that is what we are going to use. Okay. So there's the tape measure. Please, come with the tape measure. And then we have our sticks. Like mm. the sticks that we'll be using to do the lining and pegging around the whole farm. Okay. All right, so viewers, um, this is the tape measure. This is not the usual seamstress tape measure. <laughs> this is more like the construction yeah, guys. Eh? Guy. So this is the tape measure. And then, hello, sir. Uh, please bring our cutlass and the rope. Then you go and bring the sticks. So that, please give me the rope as well. 
All right. So you do the ring, ring okay, with so you. Let me see. We will start here because we have to leave some space, um, some few space from the boundary line because okay. the coconut will move, the wings will move to the different farm. Right. Definitely when it grows. So yeah. you have to leave some few meters okay. from the boundary. Okay. Uh -huh. So that is what we do, and then we will leave a road network because the distance will create um space for the tractor services to move to and move then in and plow, plow the land. Okay. Yeah. So let's see. Okay. So this is the boundary line. Mm -hmm. So we, we leave some few space here, like this. And then this is where we will place the coconuts. So before we place the coconuts here, we will just do some ring weeding around the farm. So this is okay. Okay. And then we put the first stick here. So okay. you give me one. So there, and then we measure 25 from here. Let's go back. Yeah. Sixteen. And why are we going this far? Please explain. All right. So it's 25 feet. Okay. But because it's the boundary line, we can we will use the 22 feet. Okay. Uh huh. So. I pull my, please come forward a bit for me. Okay, so we will use the 22 feet here. All right, so you stay there. So I should stand here? Yeah, stand there. And then you stick over there for me. Okay. So as you can see, he's also doing the ring weeding. Okay. Over there, and then we move. Because this is a demonstration purpose, that's why we are doing everything at a go. Right. But under normal circumstances, the lining and pegging should be done first, and then we ring weed, and then we plant. Okay. So that is the process. All right. That's okay. Fine. So then we move to the next one. Okay. So we go up there. Yeah. No. Okay. Yeah, you go up there. It's okay. It's okay. My train too is okay. So. No, you the black the black is part. Yeah. Start from one. One. Uh-huh. Okay. So you clear that place a bit. Then you stick another. Alright, so why are we leaving this distance? Okay, we are leaving this distance because that's the um, actual distance for planting coconuts. Okay. So that there will be space because coconuts, their hands alone are very long. Yeah. So that they don't intertwine the with branches. each other, the branches, okay. so that they don't intertwine with each other. Right. Uh, so that's basically why we leave this planting distance. Okay. So another one will also be there. Okay. How many did we bring? We brought about how many coconuts? We brought five. Five? Yes. Okay, so the last one. How do we do it? This way or that Yeah, way? so we'll go like this. Because of the curve, we go like this. So no, you go like this for me. And then we leave this place behind. Okay. Uh -huh. Because he has also plant um, oil palm. Okay. So if we are not careful, these two branches will cross okay. together. And I know the coconut will move faster than the oil palm. The coconut grows very taller than the palm. No, please come like this for me. This way? Yeah, this way. So you come back, come forward, come forward, okay, my 22, so now you stretch it and then you stick. Okay, so now I want to explain something. All right. Someone would ask, then why have you left this whole place? Yes. So our main pillar will be here. But the reason why we've left this main, um, this big gap is that he has also planted, our next um, farmer 
has also planted oil palm. So we can't just go and stick it right behind the oil palm that we are securing our boundaries. So this is where our Auntie Mary's land, this is where it passes. So his main pillar is this end. This is Auntie Mary's pillar. Auntie Mary's pillar. Okay. Now what happened is that he was supposed to also leave a gap from his end mm -hmm. so that we all have like five meters away from the main boundaries mm. but he didn't do it but we have to do it and then put this pillar our main pillar here okay uh -huh. other than that it will intertwine with his and it will cause a lot of problem here mm. so that is why so though the coconut will be here yes but the main boundary line we still, line, we still know that this is our boundary okay uh -huh. all right that's fine okay okay so now we go ahead and plant our coconut seedling right yes okay so the hole doesn't have to be too deep it shouldn't go too deep because you have to leave the fruits on the surface. Mm. So what is the preferred distance? 25. 25? Feet. Feet? Yes. Okay. Alright, so that's how deep... No, not the deep. No, the deep should be around um, 5 meters. 5 meters? Yes. By the uh, length? The length, is, um, that's, I can't say, but around 2 meters. Okay. Yeah, because of the... Coconut. The size the of the size. coconut. Okay. Uh -huh. So it depends. So as you can see, uh -huh. then you now cover then it. you now the cover it with the sand, leaving the fruits. You just have to make sure it's very firm on the ground. So our coconut is well planted okay. now. Okay, but you you come down. I've had people say that. Okay, first of all, what time of the day is good for doing this practice? Early in the morning or late Around in the day. Around what time? Around, you can start at 5. 5 a.m.? Yes, the, only, the planting has to, it needs to start early. Hmm. Yes, yeah, so that you don't stress the plant. We okay. have what you call stress, which yes. occurs to farm mm -hmm. um, our crops yes. a lot. Yes. Yeah. So, is it before rain or after the rain? You can do it any time, hmm. depending on um, how um, difficult is it to dig. Mm -hmm. So, if it's not um, difficult to dig, mm -hmm too deep mm -hmm. then you can just plant your coconut anytime okay yeah okay all right so let's move to the other one and uh, go and do that planting as well okay. <laughs> okay. Is it you see too mommy But is this soil uh, good for coconut farming? Very, very good. Okay. Yeah. All right. So Sandy loam. That Aunt Mary can decide to say, I want to use the whole land to plant coconut instead of vegetables. Exactly. And, and she can still. And she can still succeed. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah. So many have also suggested that usually there are some insect or termites in mm. the soil that eats the coconut seedling. Hence. You have to do some solution, dip the seedling into it before planting. But what you are doing here, I've not seen you prepare any solution. You are just doing the lining and pegging and then planting direct. Isn't okay. there going to be any consequences because of this? No. Um, there, is no there, there, there wouldn't be any consequence with this because after one week that um, the vines have started moving, mm -hmm. you, can, you will come back and treat the, and then spray the chemical on it mm. and on the ground because this... Um, it depends on the location that you are planting the coconuts. Mm -hmm. We have areas that termites infection are very high. Mm. That is when you have to treat your soil mm. before you plant the coconuts. Okay. So we have a nematocyte mm -hmm. where you can use to um, control those termites. We have the neem extracts mm -hmm. that you can use. If there are nematodes on the ground, mm -hmm. you have to use nematocyte. And then the termites, you use the neem extract. We have neem extracts. We have um, other um, chemicals that are used to control them. Mm -hmm. So you spray on the whole farm. Mm -hmm. And then you wait for a week, or you can use um, desban. Mm. Yeah, so you spray on the whole farm to mm. kill these termites okay. before planting. But here we don't have insect attack in our soils. Okay. So that is why you could see me that um, mm. planting without dipping them into mm. any solution. Mm. And then after one week, mm -hmm. you will come and then um, spray um, a solution okay. on the coconut seed because there are these um, uh, insects and yes. snails yes. that do come to destroy it, um, mm. the vine. So as soon as they break mm -hmm. this side, mm. your coconut won't grow anymore. Mm. So you come and then you spray. Okay. All right after now. How many days? After a week. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So you come and do that because by then the vines have started moving. Okay. Uh -huh. All right. Hey, please help me, oh. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> all right so viewers if you're just in you're watching the Ghanaian farmer and my name is Enyonam and we are back to Ayin Suano because at this moment our client has gone back but she's left the land in our care she's left the land in our care and before she start planting we have a couple of activities to still do first of all they've cut the trees they are yet to move all the debris from the land to make way so that it can be very plain for tractor to move in and do the plowing and then secondly we've also worked on a borehole that will, they will be coming to drill maybe in a week or two because the the ground is pretty much wet and moist because of the small small rain here and there now the number three was she asked that we have to secure her boundary she doesn't want any misunderstanding between herself and her neighbor so there were a couple of things that came up apart from coconut there is moringa you can use oil palm you can use uh, and other things like bamboo sticks to cover the whole thing but she settled on coconut I mean, if she's in the farm her workers are there they can pluck some and enjoy themselves so she settled on coconut and we are taking you through lining and pegging and planting the exercise we have about 500 seedlings to actually plant the whole boundary because it's six acres however because the road due to the rainfall is a bit you know muddy we have to just bring these few ones to teach you in case you're also planning to buy a land you know how to secure your boundary and then you can um, proceed so let's wrap up but my next question would be um, after bringing the solution you know to do the spraying and all that does this one need any fertilizer Oh yes, coconut needs fertilizer, but at the moment our soil is very fertile. So we will just wait for a while, maybe after um, five months or yeah. four months, uh -huh. and then we use pottery manure. I normally prefer pottery manure in treating co um, plantation crops. Okay. Yeah, so we use pottery manure to um, we spray, uh, spread it around, around. the coconut okay. because it dips uh, when it rains and it falls on the manure. The manure sips slowly into the ground mm. and then it um, goes it fills the coconut very well and mm. it grows faster. Mm. So basically I use manure in treating plantation crops. Okay. Huh. So how long does this particular variety, you said Malaysian? Malaysian dwarf. Okay. How long does it take to mature? Three. Three, three years. Three years. Whoa. So Auntie Mary have to wait for three before started drinking her coconuts? Not only drinking because there are so many that we will plant across the boundary. Okay. So it can also serve as a source of income for yeah, her. Yeah. 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 Okay. So three years. So if you are going for the Malaysian dwarf, you should know that it's going to take you the next three years. Then you start harvesting. And this is an extra source of income for you as a farmer. You've got to be very strategic when you're going into farming. What other care do we need to give to this seedling so that it matures very well? Apart from the fertilizer application mm. and then the pruning, mm -hmm. sometimes you need to prune a little. Okay. Yeah. So those are some of the things that you need to do mm. to maintain the coconuts to become very healthy. Okay. So um, in this time, once we're coming, I saw some people planting cabbage. Some people, you guys still have some green, fresh maize yes. on your land. Um, why? Your season, why you have different season or what? Around no. this time, if I'm a <laughs> farmer here or if I have a land here, I remember you suggested we should plant maize. Yes. And then somewhere into October, November, we can do uh, cabbage. Cabbage, yeah. Um, why at this time? And if I have a maze around this time, do I sell fresh or dry? Here we sell fresh. We sell fresh. Yeah. Okay. We sell fresh. The dry, we do just a few for consumption, for family. So it's, um, the dry is for just subsistence. Right. Yes. So they don't do much of the dry maize here in Ayin okay. They cut fresh because when you cut fresh, your profit is very high. Okay. I see. Yeah. All right. So that's it, Mr. Ben. Your full name is what? You've never mentioned your full name. <laughs> Ben okay. was Bernard Lawe. Bernard Lawe, he's a guard dangbe. Yeah. Eh? So if you are a guard dangbe and you are living abroad, you have your brother here. <laughs> and so um, today, this is what we came to enlighten you about. If you're out there and you're about to have a land, please, or you have a land already, and you are thinking about how to actually secure your land, these are the means to go through to secure your land so that nobody will have issues with you but remember, it will take you three years to start enjoying from this you are planting today. Uh, are you going to remove this tree? No, it will be there. At a point? It will be there. It will be there. For how long? For as long as it can be here. Really? But what if it starts germinating? It won't. Okay. Yeah, it won't. So All you right. just be pruning the side by side. Mm -hmm. When we see that the coconut has established yeah. itself, then it will just fall off. Oh, yeah. okay. 
okay all right so that's it um thank you very much for joining us subscribe share all our videos and please i see some people complain that when they send messages i don't reply uh, they call me i don't pick up there are millions of people i'm attending to so even if you send a message and you don't get an instant feedback or i promise to revert please it doesn't hurt to actually you know get back to me that hey and you know, i'm still waiting for this and i will come back to you i'm human take it easy at times the way you go about your anger and then you come and write stuff on youtube it's not nice come on guys it's not nice it's raining the road is terrible but here i am today just to enlighten you about how to protect your boundaries or as a new farm owner in ghana these are some of the ways to protect your boundaries so um how many people are we going to be working with to actually do this okay i'll be working size? with four people because um because it's a boundary line yeah. if it was like an acre takes 75 okay. seedlings yes but because it's a boundary line I'll, i can just do it with one person because we are just going so mr Alco, please bring me the rope mm -hmm. so i've already tied the rope no the, the blue one the, the blue the blue one so you can see that I've tied the 25 here so that the work moves faster. And if you are using the tape measure, we will not be fast enough. So I've tied this. I've measured already. And so this is 25 long? Yes, long. So I'll ah. just be going with one person okay. and then the two other will be planted. But we will be moving very fast. Ah. Uh -huh. okay. We will another. be moving very fast. So this is another strategy that we use uh -huh. so that we can go far. But if we are doing on the mainland, yes. we need three people. Okay. Because we will go triangular. Mm. Yeah. It's 25 triangular. So you are sure when you start at the other side and I'm here, we will get the, the, the exact We will get the exact measurement. Oh, I see. This is really interesting. This is the usual rope for um, <laughs> hanging your clothes in the house. And so if you don't have a, you don't have the tape measure or you have someone who has the tape measure, go and look for a beauty contractor and do your measurement. <laughs> then you can bring it to your farm and then you can use it. So I guess this is it. If Ben should go to the other end, if Ben should go to the other end, so you see, okay, just exactly the yeah. same thing, yeah, as you can see here. So I've already tied it over there, so that we can just be moving across the lanes, and then they will be planting as we move. So I will do this with just one person, and then the others will be planting and follow will follow us and then be planting. Okay. So that's the knot here, and then you can see this knot, and there's another one too here. Yeah. So this is the 25. Uh, uh -huh. Okay, so I don't go past the small line here. No, no, no. no. This one this exactly. An, yeah, this one exactly. Oh, okay. So that is it. Right. Yeah. Okay, so guys, thank you very much for watching. We'll see you some other time. Definitely when the borehole guys come, I will keep updating you on this land because I have a special interest. In fact, when the first cabbage is ready, I'll take my permission because I have <laughs> suffered. Me and Ben, we have suffered. So, so we'll keep updating you when the borehole guys come. We'll keep updating. The day the tractor will come, we'll come and capture it. When we are planting the maize, we'll come and capture it so that you see the progress of what we are doing on the land for Auntie Mary. Then, once again, all these things Ben and I are doing, this is what put food on our table. So we charge. It's not for free. So when you are coming, please prepare yourself. Understand the business. That this is, this is what gives us food. In Ghana, <laughs> it is hot. So we don't work for free. Eh? Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you on the other side. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.